Okay, good morning you guys. It is Friday! It's Friday! It's Friday! Hey, it's Friday! I'm glad it's Friday. Ooh, happiest day of the week for me. <laughs> How y'all doing this morning? Uh, how y'all doing this morning? God is good. God is amazing. Woo! This edge controller, like I had goose in my hair. That's what I use to pull it back instead of gel is the edge control. It holds very well, to be at, to be honest. But anyway, good morning, everyone. Happy, 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 fantastic Friday. I hope you guys had a great night, and I hope your morning is amazing. I'm expecting great things today, you guys. I'm expecting great things every morning, as you are aware. I said my prayers this morning. I hope you guys did the same. And um, I hope throughout the day you just remember to treat people the way you would expect to be treated. Um, today I will be, after work, going to donate. I'll be going today and Sunday. I didn't go Wednesday. Um, so I'll go today and Sunday of this week. Um, eventually I'll get back on my regular schedule of Wednesdays and Fridays. That way I can leave my weekends, you know, just free and open. Um, I got the fan blowing. It's kind of irritating my eye, uh, eyes. My headache, y'all. My migraine has gone away. Thank you, Jesus. I did take two pills this morning. Um... Just to be on the safe side, I was feeling a little funky, but nothing like yesterday by no means. Um, I've been up throughout the night again because by me sleeping like I did yesterday, um, I was up throughout the night, which was kind of cool. I ended up, um, I was going to, I think the last time I talked to you guys, I was going to re-watch episode 17 and 18 of um, Love Between the Fairy and the Devil. And when I went to rewatch it, they had episode 19 and 20 on there. What? So I watched 19 and 20. Um, so I think when I read it, it was going to be 30 episodes. And the last episode, I believe, is going to be September 22nd. So I don't know if they do two episodes, you know, an episode a day. I don't know how they do it, but I don't care. I don't care. I just like the episodes, okay? Yeah, I need a little bit sugar, a little bit more sugar. Um, I'm gonna try to drink it without the sugar though. It's black, ain't got no cream, nothing, and obviously no sugar. I'm gonna try to hang in there with it. Um, yeah, the only thing I will admit is it is starting to drag a little. Um, I, that I hate. I hate when when the shows kind of start to drag. Like you, you're short a lot of, in my opinion, unnecessary stuff. You know, for example. Um, the, the the god of war that was always in love with her but never voiced it, never protected, never did anything he was supposed to do because he was already engaged. His you know dad already you know engaged him, married, had him prepared to be married off to somebody else, um, not caring about what he think wanted or felt. Um, so much so that um, his dad had locked him in kind of like a, a heavenly prison because. Um, he was trying to go off and save the fairy and the dad was like no like why are you showing so much attention to someone and you're not even that looks bad this is not the person you're going to be married to and he's like but this is the person that I love so like he's finally voicing that instead of just keeping it to himself he's voicing it and I believe what makes what's making him so determined now is the fact that um the, 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 the demon, the devil, he came in and he saved her when he didn't, when he couldn't. He came in, he saved her, he picked her up, he carried her, and then he witnessed twice um, him kissing her. Um, and the reason for that was because their, their bodies had, their um, souls had to swap. So... And that's how he came to be in the first place. It was all this lightning and stuff going on. And when she fell from the sky, um, long story short, they collided and their lips touched. And so basically her soul swapped into his. And then they had to do it reverse. It was a lot going on. So 
Yeah, that's what happened. And um, anyway, the last time it happened, he witnessed that. And the way the devil did it, it he, he did it in a way to make him, you know, jealous. So, you know, like, this is my woman, you know. And so, anyway, now he's more determined than ever to make his feelings known to her and, and to save her, to protect her, blah, blah, blah. So, having said that, um, even though he's in love with her, another fairy is in love with him. And so, she's been helping him. And so, she went to see him in prison. And he basically asked her to help him escape. And she was like, I can't do that. And da 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 da. He was like, You don't know how it is to be in love with someone and blah blah blah. And she thinking, Oh yes I do. I'm in love with you, nut. But what she did was she helped him. Um, what he ended up doing was because she said that she saw their destiny and he saw she saw him marrying her, but he was immortal. He was no longer a god immortal. So what he did was when she helped him escape, he dived into this pool or river or something, and it turned him into a mortal. Really, it removed him of his heavenly powers, turned him into a mortal, and she ended up diving right behind him because now she feels like the person that I love is no longer here. She would only do the same. So I, th I have an idea of what's about to happen in the next episode, and I think what's going to happen is the devil you know he told her you know thank you for changing me you know and he basically let her know i want you here with me forever you know she's thinking oh he changed you know you can tell she she started to have feelings for him so she's like oh he's changed da 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 but then he told her he says i'm gonna go he said i know you feel bad you want to you want your home back you want to go home but they feel that you are a traitor he said so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kill all of them <laughs> He said, I'm going to kill every last one of them and take your home back for you so you can go home. She like, this, he didn't change at all. Like, he just switched it up. Like, and they told her his destiny is to destroy all three realms, including fairyland, your world. That's what he's supposed to do. That's what he's meant to do. And he's going to do that. Even if now he has his emotions back, he still has to do that, right? And so she's got real cold hearted standoffish and he's not understanding that um and she told him that there's no love between us type of thing basically we not even really friends type of thing because you know this is this is not what I want and she told him if this is what you're going to do at some point we're enemies and you're going to kill me anyway so whatever um so now he's a little standoffish as well but anyway she ended up following him and his black dragon um to the mortal world and his reason for going there was because the god of war, the original, the first god of war, um, was reincarnated. And she's going to find her love and la 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 la. So, she's followed him there. Long story short, I think what's going to happen, they keep saying that she's going to find her love on that day. So, the dude that's been setting them up all along, he's back, he's healed, and the god of war is his master he's been trying to bring her back so i think his intentions were um to make her fall in love with him and to bring her back with him but i think there's going to be a mix-up and then she's going to end up falling in love with the devil so i think they're going to bring them two together even if for a moment and i think in doing that it's going to make the fairy jealous you know what I'm saying? So they, they have to do something because he was already jealous of the fact that she's so infatuated or in, or in love with the God of War um, who is now immortal. And he don't know that, but she does. She saw him. And she's like, why is he now immortal? Or what's going on? Is it that he's immortal here in this world? Like, she's trying to figure it out, right? So I think when they bring him and this other girl together, it's going to be enough to spiral her true feelings like really make her want him even more i don't know i guess what i'm thinking gonna happen we're gonna see we're gonna see but i just hope it continues to be good because uh right now it is starting to drag a little um and that part i don't like um so yeah anyway guys it is i have my tablet charging 
Um, my phone is charging. It's been charging since last night. It's charging real slow because I have to get a new phone. Really, the battery is, is going. There's no sense of trying to fix it. There's no sense of trying to get a new battery. One, two, the screen is freaking freakishly cracked, so I can't really do anything with it. Uh, right now, I, it's what I need to work. Um, so, it's 7.51, so I figure I'll speak to you guys until maybe about 8 ish and then I'll go ahead and upload uh, two videos from yesterday and start on this one um, and then get ready to work so yeah that's it that's my morning so far um, it's been a while yesterday was the first time in a while that I sat at the window and spoke with you guys um, today is day two that I'm doing that and I actually I actually enjoy it like it's really comfortable and calming um, it's going to be a hectic weekend this weekend because um, this is the weekend where Lavelle's going to have the girls this weekend. So, it's going to be a busy weekend. Um, and again, I have to uh, get in his medication. So, you know, it's going to be a lot going on. But hopefully it's going to be good and, and um, busy but fun weekend. So, yeah. I will try to keep you guys updated and posted and bring you on, bring you along with me um, throughout some of my little um, excursions or events or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, you guys, enjoy your Friday morning. Um, be safe going to and from. Again, remember to pray. Remember to be kind to someone today, to everyone if you can. <laughs> you know, and just remember to expect great things because I definitely am. And of course, I hope you are too. Talk to you guys later today, okay? Bye now. Hey guys, happy Friday afternoon. I'm on my lunch break from 12.30 to 1. Uh, we're having training today. This morning started off really rough. Um, I had to restart my computer. Just a bunch of whatever. Um, but everything's running fine now. Um, in a meeting, training. Uh, so much information like uh, and it really sucks that I only have one contact lens in I can't find what I did with the other one but I have to sit up on the screen like this to see properly and it sucks because it's training you know um, and then this is the we just finished the first half the second half of the training um, we're going to be doing you know um, Live, you know, we're gonna go in and they're gonna, you know, ask us questions and things like that. Like, we're gonna do fake real calls, so I really need to be able to see. Um, but I'm just gonna do the best I can. I think I pretty much understand it. You know, the more you do things, the more it becomes repetitive, and the more you remember or understand or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna not. I'm going to do my best not to freak out about it. I mean, I just hate doing things like this, but it's part of my job, so I'm going to do it. Um, and, yeah, um, so for lunch, I'm just having a beef hot dog with, instead of bread, just the crackers. No ketchup, mustard, anything like that. Just the hot dog and um, my big old thing of water. Um, that's what I've been doing pretty much lately because I really haven't had much of a taste for anything. Just every blue moon, you know, if they order something, I'll get something. But other than that, um, I'm trying not to. Um, but it's been a really weird vibe today. But it's okay. I, I am learning more, more so, more and more every day to just continue to live, love, and trust God. That's it. I'm not going to worry about everything and everyone and attitudes and whatever I'm just not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna sit up and wonder if this one's okay that one's okay I can't what I can do is pray give it to the Lord trust that God will, will watch over protect and keep everybody mentally physically spiritually and emotionally financially that's all I can do like I'm never going to be in a position where I can make everybody happy, you know. Um, it's always going to be somebody that's not happy. I'm, it's always going to be someone I'm not able to do for, you know. I'm always in a situation right now where I put myself on the back burner, burner, and I'm trying to help everyone else, and I don't mind doing that. I really don't. It's just just who I am, um, and I don't complain about it. Um, at least I I used to. I'm getting to the point where I, you know, I just 
I'm trusting God, y'all. That's all I can do, you know, because if I don't, I'll be sad, upset all the time. And it's not worth it. And I just, like I said, I've decided to live, love, and enjoy life the best I can. I'm tired of not being happy or being sad because someone else is sad or sad because I can't help someone or do for one someone. I'm not going to always be able to help, you know. Most of the time, the best way I can help is to pray, you know, is to trust, is to be able to listen. You know, and if that's not good enough, then you just have to take it directly to the Lord yourself. I don't know what else it can do. Um, so, like I said, it's just been a funky vibe this morning. Um, just in the air, it feels a little weird and thick. But it's okay, guys. It's okay. I am not going to allow myself to be sad. Um... You know, maybe it's that depressed like thing that's, you know, every now and then creeps in on me. You know, especially when I'm not doing what I would like to do. Um, but I'm not going to let it. I remember Joy saying, you take control. And um, that's what I've been trying to do lately. Every now and then it might get a little rough for me. But um, I'm taking control. I have to. And I'm going to continue being happy. And that's all I can do. I'm not going to worry about nothing and nobody else. I'm not going to try to bend over backwards, break my neck for worried about what other people think or feel. I just can't. I have no time for it. It's draining. It's time consuming and it's unnecessary and I'm just not going to do it. Um, I'm just going to be happy. Okay. Like I told y'all, this I'm living and I'm learning every day is a learning process. Every day we grow, hopefully. You know, if we do fall, stumble, go backwards, you know, that's okay. Pick yourself off, up, brush yourself off. Thank you, God. Repent and keep moving forward. That's all we can do, y'all. That's all we can do. Um, so I haven't said that, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, scarf down this food so I can get ready for the next set. Se session um, but I'm gonna say this yesterday I was talking to you guys and I couldn't remember what it was I wanted to talk to you about now I can and it was I had I was watching YouTube um, some youtubers and a, vi a commercial a ad came up and it was um, for Whitney Houston movie now I, I actually love with Whitney Houston I her voice was amazing. You you would have to be mental not to think so. Um, but in the vi in the movie, the video, the commercial, the ad, they show they played the song. Um, um, oh, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Hey, I wanna dance with somebody. With some who loves me anyway when I was listening to that y'all I felt I wanted to cry I really did like her voice you know a person has an angelic and an amazingly beautiful voice when they sing certain songs and it touched your heart I just look, listened to the ad and she started to sing that song and for some reason I was like oh my god it just made me wanted to cry, you know. It really did. Like such a beautiful voice, a beautiful child of God, and she's gone so early. Now it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can change, you know. I know my hair look a little crazy, y'all. I'm sitting over there with the headphones on, so it just whatever. <laughs> but I just wanted to share that when I saw that ad, like uh, oh, her voice is just so amazing. It's so powerful, you know, and it really did touch me. Just, just, just hearing that song, it really did touch me. Or should I should say, hearing her sing that song. And I remember when I first heard, heard that song. I was a teenager, like, oh my God, you know. Uh, and it just took me back. It took me back. It took me back. Take me back. I can never get that right. Take me back, dear Lord. To the place I can never get that song right, but um, take me back, Lord, where I first believe. I honestly, honestly, that song took me back. But anyway, guys, just wanted to share that with you. Um, and. 
probably talk to you later on in the night. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get on back to work. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope your afternoon is amazing. I hope you enjoy your lunch. Um, if you're by yourself with friends, just enjoy. Um, remember to treat people the way you would, would expect to be treated and keep expecting great things, okay? Talk to you later. Bye now.